We represent Healy Weber and they have taken the anterior closed knee brace to the next level. Can I show you how? Years ago, John Healy was approached by Dr. Tom Knapp to build a knee sleeve that closed in the front for his patients who were having a hard time pulling them up. Add a couple of hinges and you have the first anterior closed knee brace on the market. Now, 20 plus years and maybe 10 iterations later, we present the Knapp brace, the first and still the finest anterior closed knee available to you. Sometimes it's not just one thing that sets a brace apart, but the entirety of its design. Each component contributing to offer the most effective and the best. Take a look. The body of the brace is constructed from cool neoprene. We don't use just any neoprene, we use a unique neoprene that's exclusive to Healy & Weber. Our neoprene is 60% synthetic neoprene with a 40% synthetic butyl filler to create a neoprene brace carcass with significant body and feel. Regular wetsuit grade neoprene is flimsy and it's too stretchy and though significantly lower cost, it's not a great brace material. Cool means it's perforated and that allows breathability. About 80% of the water vapor is dispersed through these perforations in the brace. So you get compression and warmth from the neoprene without all the sweat. Finishing that cool neoprene is a binding. The entire brace is bound to prevent that neoprene from tearing. Our binding has the same stretch coefficient as the neoprene does, so we don't cause constriction or discomfort to the patient. Stitching quite literally makes the brace. Most braces are made with a zigzag stitch. Well, we use the zigzag stitch too, but where others end and put it in the box, that's just where we begin. The second thing we do to the brace is we use a very tight zigzag, especially around the hinge pockets. We tighten the stitches up considerably for significantly more strength and durability. To those zigzag stitches, on the inside of them, you'll note that we add a straight stitch. All hinge pockets are triple reinforced with this straight stitch. We took zero nap braces back last year for pocket failure. The third stitch we use in our braces are bar tacks. This brace specifically has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bar tacks on one hinge, 14 bar tacks in the entire brace. It's the stitch that's used at the bottom of your pants pocket. It prevents tearing and failure of the brace. Support comes from the hinge. We use a wide, flat hinge in our brace with a biaxial pivot to mimic knee motion. Wide and flat so it doesn't pivot or rotate works the best in a soft brace. We've hardened and purposely used thicker aluminum in the brace because the hinge gives the support. If we wanted to, we could cheapen the brace considerably by using flimsy hinges like you find in lower cost braces. Here's an example. These hinges look very much alike but when I take my competitor's hinge, I can easily bend it. That's not possible with the one from Healy & Weber. Most braces just allow a little landing strip here of loop material for the hook to attach to. Not at Healy & Weber. To the outside, we don't give you a little landing strip of hook, we double and even triple that landing area so the brace can be adjusted for the time of day and in between sized people. To the brace, we apply circumferential straps because they're there to hold up the brace. Partial straps or semi-circumferential straps do not accommodate that. Circumferential straps, however, can constrict and cause muscle cramping. So we build into the straps a very taut elastic piece that allow the straps to move with the patient, helping prevent slippage and cramping. The details in the nap brace are amazing. We seal the straps at the D-rings so the strap does not turn sideways, as most can, but allow that strap to come straight out onto the patient's leg for comfort and support. Not one of those things make you too excited, but add 10 of them built into one brace, and it gives you all the reasons you need to use the best on your patients and not compromise. Doctor, which one of those benefits is most important to you and your patients?